Ever thought about building your own security system from scratch? Watch how I turn a simple AMB82 mini microcontroller and an old laptop into a cutting edge CCTV setup with the latest frigate update. You won't want to miss this. Here's a quick look at my DIY CCTV system. I've used the AMB82 mini microcontroller which includes a camera module, microphone, and Wi-Fi, and it's housed in a dummy CCTV camera. For the server, I used my laptop from college, a Lenovo Yoga 520. It has an i3-7100U, an Intel HD Graphics 620, an M.2 NVMe SSD, 16GB of RAM, 1TB HDD for CCTV storage, and I have added M.2 Coral TPU A plus E key for detection. And lastly, viewing devices are our smartphones, computers, and also from the TV which an Orange Pi 1 is connected. Recently, Frigate has been updated to version 0.14, bringing a lot of new improvements. The updates include a revamped user interface, the ability to scrub through recorded videos and change the playback speed, and updates to alerts and detections. Additionally, you can now customize the appearance or theme and add new users. For installation instructions, I recommend checking out a video from another YouTube channel. You'll find the link in the description. To start, we have the dashboard, which features a minimalist design and curved edges. When you select a camera, you'll be taken to its live view. The live view is more focused and makes efficient use of space. In the top right corner, you can choose from various options such as audio, detect, recording, and snapshots. In the top left corner, you can access recorded footage via the history tab. If you hover over the video, you'll see additional options, enabling audio, rewinding 10 seconds, playing or pausing the footage, forwarding 10 seconds, and adjusting the video playback speed. On the right side, there is a timeline that allows you to scrub through the recorded footage. You can review events from a specific time, with yellow lines indicating periods of detected motion. Next is the review section, where you can examine activities detected by Frigate in your setup. In my configuration, it detects people, animals, and vehicles. You can use the timeline here to locate specific events, with red highlights denoting recorded activity. Hovering over a video will show a quick playback animation and clicking on it will take you to that specific footage in the history view. The export section displays all your exported videos. To create an export, return to the live view and click the export option. You can set a specific time frame according to your needs. The settings tab, located in the bottom left corner, provides system information through system metrics. Here, you can view data graphs showing CPU, GPU, and TPU usage, storage use, and camera resource information. In the system logs, you can review errors in Frigate and go to RTC and the history of devices connected via Nginx. In the settings menu, you can adjust the user interface, configure masks and zones, and use the new motion tuner to detect any movement. The debug option has been moved from the camera view to the settings. You can also add users in Frigate. By default, only the admin account is active, but you can add more users by pressing add user. Finally, in the settings tab, you can enable dark mode, change the theme, and restart Frigate. Before I show my configuration, here is the code for the AMB82 Mini. I have used the example code of Double Video Single Audio RTSP. I slightly modified the code and decided that the first video will go to 1080p HD quality for the high resolution stream, and the second video will go to 720p SD quality for the low resolution stream. Also, I added my Wi Fi credentials as the data transfer will be wireless. That is the only reason I've used the USB extender over RJ45 for power transfer only. If you did this to a CCTV camera and that CCTV connection is wired, it will cause noise, color loss, and possibly the distortion of the signal altogether. To check our configuration, 
we will go to the settings tab and go to the configuration editor. My Frigate configuration is simple, but over time, I try to experiment other features in Frigate to optimize the camera detection. I use the default HW Axle argument for Intel, and I also use the GoTo RTC keeping the original video and audio because the AMB82 Mini is already using H.264 and AAC. I have a high resolution stream for recording and a low resolution stream for detection and audio. My output argument is with audio copy so that the video output has audio. The DTEC resolution size is the same resolution for my low resolution stream and I have set the retention of record and events to 30 days. Currently, I have also added motion detection and zones and I'm trying to figure out an experiment to improve detection. For objects, I only added the common ones that I see in my camera. I removed bird's eye since I only have one camera. I also have logs if I want to troubleshoot the camera, but I have disabled it by adding a hash turning it into a comment. And for my detector, I use the PCI version of the Coral. Now, a short review on the AMB82 Mini. It's a microcontroller development board from Realtek Ameba IoT. It's an ultra low power camera SOC that uses a 5 megapixel JX F37 image sensor but can have a resolution up to 2K. It is H.264 or H.265 compatible. It also has AAC audio codec, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, 2 micro USB, ISP, Secure Boot, Crypto Engine and easy to code using Arduino IDE. After 2 months of use, the AMB Mini works very well, but sometimes I get bugs related to FFmpeg. I'm still figuring out if it's related to my power supply since it's my first time using the USB extender over RJ45. But that's what I'm testing on right now, and currently solving for the long term solution. But doing a power cycle can solve this problem from time to time. Detecting people and cars are accurate, animals are alright, sometimes it detects animals as people or sometimes it detects people as animals. Overall, it's a great upgrade from the ESP32. It has addressed my issues with outdoor weather conditions, met my expectations for a decent camera quality, and provided significant value. The AMB82 Mini has offered many features and has given me the growth and experience to build my own CCTV system. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos related to Frigate. In part 2, I will show you how to install or interface the PCI Google Coral into your Linux home server. If you have any questions about the AMB82 Mini or Frigate, drop them in the comments below and I'll happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.